So I'm just going to reduce, primarily try to reduce the right side. So not a lot of heat here. So you want to do it in little increments. So you're not over melting anything. So I'm going to start over here. Introduce a little more heat on my on my rim former and very gently start on that side and you can see that I'm starting to melt it here and making my way across and once again a very flat surface once I establish this plane of occlusion can go back and change it so it's very imperative that we get this uh, correct okay because it affects everything that we do for the rest of the appointment all right so we're going to chill that just a little bit a little bit of wax residue on my gloves if you can't get it off by all means, just get another pair. All right, back to here. Glasses for me again. Sorry, that's okay. I hope you heard that little squishing sound on the video because it's a very good sound to hear. So we still have a little bit of wax showing there. Just get you to open slightly, good. And now I'm gonna place in the Fox plane and that looks a whole lot better. A whole lot better. So I have a nice parallelism now between an interpupil line and the Fox plane itself, which of course is according to the plane of occlusion. And if we look at it from the side, from this side, I can see that I am parallel to the inferior border of the ala, which is right here, to the middle of the tragus, which is right here. So this, you want to have it parallel to that imaginary line, okay? So that looks pretty good. So I'm really confident with what I've established here so far. Now, the next step, we're going to establish the VDR and VDO. So before I even move to the lower bite block, I'm going to establish Robert's natural resting position as well as his natural chewing position of the vertical opening, okay? Which is a VDR and a VDO, put in lame terms, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do now, because Robert has a beard, we're gonna get a little bit of a tape to put it here because it's very difficult to make a marking in the beard, but I can certainly make a marking on the tip of his nose. We'll put a little bit of tape on the bottom so we can establish that vertical, 